You're in the trenches with Dave Lapham, brought to you by First Star Logistics, emanating from our outstanding studios. And I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about what the Bengals might do against the Cleveland Browns in that last preseason game. Now, I'm old school. You know, I played in an era that was old school era, I guess. But I really believe that if you've earned the right to make decisions on who to play, how long to play them, or even play them at all in a last regular season game, make good decisions. And honestly, I think the Cincinnati Bengals in this situation have earned the right to have their own personal bye week. They took care of business against the Kansas City Chiefs. That took an unbelievable effort by a lot of people, a lot of players. Joe Burrow got knocked around a little bit. Uh, limping a little bit at the end of the football game with a little bit of a knee problem. You know, that finger, he's fought through that, the dislocation of the pinky. In my opinion, I wouldn't play him a snap. I, I, th I think they've earned the right to allow him to have a bye. He's on fire. Um, you know, And people are like, okay, well, if he's on fire, let him continue to play. <laughs> what if he takes a hit that you shouldn't take? <laughs> what if something uh, something happens? I, I feel that Joe Burrow is in a mindset now where the best thing for him is to get 100% healthy. He is making unbelievable decisions with the football. He's throwing the football incredibly well. I think that uh, not playing a snap against the Cleveland Browns is the direction I would take with Joe Burrow. There's no doubt in my mind. And I'd probably do it with a few other players on the football team. Anybody that has got some sort of an injury that, if you play against the Cleveland Browns, it may exacerbate that injury, may make it more problematic as you're getting ready to play that home game in the playoffs. My goal would be to go into that playoff game all hands on deck as healthy as I possibly could. And if that entails sitting quite a few guys, so be it. Baker Mayfield Sounds like he's going to have his uh, shoulder operated on within the next few days. Baker Mayfield will not, will not be playing in this football game. It's going to be interesting to see how the Cleveland Browns handle this football game. Uh, the, the Cincinnati Bengals are in a situation where they're going to have nothing more, worse than a four seed. They could, if everything goes incredibly well and all the moons align and the stars do as well, they could have the number one seed. It's not going to happen, though. I think that they're looking at a number three seed or best-case scenario, potentially a number two. But they're looking at a three or a four, more than likely, I guess, and probably sitting right where they are at number three. Who knows? Um, at, at that point, in my mind, it's like, oh, boy, you don't want to play the New England Patriots and Bill Belichick. you gotta, you got to play guys to make sure you avoid that. If you play guys and – it doesn't go well physically, and now they're limited. They go out to play against New England Patriots, not at full capacity physically. It doesn't matter how good a coach Bill Belichick is. They're not going to be able to compete with any coach, uh, basically, if, they, if they're dragging themselves around physically on the football field. In my mind, first and foremost, get the football team as healthy as you possibly can, not only for this playoff game, but if you can win this playoff game, try to make as deep a run as you can into the playoffs. And, and I'm excited about what might happen in the playoffs. You know why? Because Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow has basically said, oh, you're going to snub me in the Pro Bowl? I'll show you. He has taken that snub and, and utilized it to his advantage, just like Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan used to just take the doubters and say, I'll show you. Joe Burrow's the same way take the doubters and say, I'll show you. Since they made the announcement about the Pro Bowl selections, the next two games, Joe Burrow's thrown for 971 yards, eight touchdowns, no interceptions. This guy has set a, a franchise record for 4,611 4, yards, 366 completions is a franchise record, 70.4% completion percentage. What? Kenny Anderson's at 70.55, but that was in a nine-game strike-shortened season in 1982. Joe Burrow's at 70.4%. In 
in 16 games. 34 touchdowns, new record. 14 interceptions. Quarterback rating 108.3, new franchise record as well. He is playing at such a high level. When the Bengals made the deepest runs that they've made in, in the playoffs to the Super Bowl two different times, Super Bowl 16 in 1981, Ken Anderson was MVP of that 1981 season. 1988, when the Bengals made the run to Super Bowl 23, Boomer Esiason was MVP the 1988 season. Joe Burrow is playing like an MVP quarterback this year in 2021, 2022. Those years were 81, 82, 88, 89. Joe Burrow is playing at that kind of level. It is a quarterback-driven league. The quarterback position is the most important position in all sports. A quarterback playing the way Joe Burrow is playing, it's, it's like makeup that can hire a lot, hide a lot of blemishes. There's no doubt about that. Everybody feeds off outstanding quarterback play. I say let Joe Burrow recuperate, get as healthy as possible, and let him lead the charge as far as he possibly can into the playoffs. And any other player that needs to regroup physically and get ready to make that run alongside Joe Burrow, let him do it. It would not hurt my feelings at all if the Bengals sat quite a few players against the Cleveland Browns up on the lake this weekend in Cleveland. We'll see how it shakes down. I'm not saying tank the football game. That's not what I'm saying. And the guys that go and play in that football game, it's their opportunity to shine. It's their opportunity to step up. It's their opportunity to, to show they belong. It's their opportunity to show the game's not too big for them. We'll see how it turns out. All I know is the Cincinnati Bengals have won the AFC North, and nothing is going to change that. And They're going to get a home field playoff game. I want as healthy a football team as I can muster for that opportunity. See what happens. At First Star Logistics, we're a very strict company that really puts the pressure on our employees. <laughs> Brakes? What are those? That's what I'm talking about, Icky. Get the body right, then the mind's right, you know? Yeah. Gotta get that body right. That's right. right. Yes, sir. <laughs> Become a star with a chance to earn the highest commission percentages in the industry as a freight broker agent. Check out firststarlogistics.com.